Woohoo everybody! I had a great week of holidays, but then some of my shops announced that they will offer masks. And of course I entered a design spray for masks. So on Spreadshirt Europe you can actually buy the masks. A red bubble has them announced and T Public has them announced as well. So I've got a few patterns, many gaming themed masks like here, a good game in white. I have a good game in black as well. Then I used some of my old fractal art. Unicorns, always great. Uh, tennis balls, my family is tennis balls obsessed. You wouldn't believe on what places you can find tennis balls <laughs> at my parents or grandparents. Like I found one in the bathroom and it was on the container for dirty laundry. On the container was an opening and the tennis ball was for closing the opening so that you can use the container as kind of little table on the side as well without anything swishing through the opening in it. That was my first theory why the tennis ball is there but then my mother told me they use it for the daily morning sports they put a tennis ball on the wall and then they press their back to it so that the ball is between the back and the wall and then they go up and down to massage the back <laughs> that's a pretty good method so this is one of my dopest thing, Masks of Anti-Covid. It's designed in a World of Warcraft item description kind of way. This is another fractal. This is a skeleton. Yeah, you see, I wanted to align the eyes of the wearer with the skeleton eyes, so I bent it. I'm really not sure how this will play out if someone actually wears the mask. That's an issue with all the different shops. You don't have pictures or preview how the masks will actually look. So I just hope at the moment that I guessed the placement of the mouth parts right. T-Rex, crocodile. <laughs> yeah, this should be a kit from Knight Rider, you know, the car with the red thing in the front, but it's equally nice as robotic mouth. Then we have Star Wars themed masks. And then, of course, I enabled the mask feature for all of my old designs as well. I'm really not sure what I should get for myself. I'm torn between the Rainbow Trooper mask and I like them all. It's sure, because I designed them, I like them all. <laughs> but... Uh, the Rainbow Trooper, the item description, and oh, this is great as well, this is great as well, this is... Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I think these are the most... Ah, I like the good game too. Hmm. Okay, I basically li like them all, and this, I want to get this as well. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't want to get this. <laughs> So, uh, writing, yeah, this would be great as well, this is my lit RPG mask. It's pretty simple, but I like it, uh, I like the simplicity of it. I won't uh, get this mask, oh, this mask was, mm. okay, you see, <laughs> I invested some time 
Yeah, and the balls are cute as well. Doesn't matter. So I didn't write much. I just wrote during Lisa Daly's live stream and another live stream. I didn't participate in many and I didn't do editing. I only started working today, but I included the sample edit from the first editor I contacted and he did a very good job with most of it, especially with some of my more, let's call it, charm sentences. <laughs> but there were other things I didn't like uh, with his edits, so it's a mixed bag. I hope he writes back to me and maybe we can get to an agreement. I don't know. It, it was the first editor I tried. Then I did feedback forms for my beta readers. I will show them to you as well. I might even make a whole video of it. I did seven of them because I watched a video of Carol Brown, check out her channel, about beta readers and she suggested that if you have long manuscripts that you send only parts to your betas. So I gonna split the book into six parts of 15 chapters each which is about one chapter is about 2000 so 30000 words per part and have a questionnaire for every part but all the questionnaires are similar only one question really differs the question i've got from a book indirectly from a book the book is called how to write pulp fiction and indirectly, because I got a modified version through a web page, I'm really sorry, dear web page author, I forgot to bookmark you, <laughs> so I don't know what's your name or what's the bookmark. The questions are mainly on the big picture level. So could you relate to the main character? Did the setting interest you? Any confusion, discrepancies noticed? Are the characters believable? What about the dialogue? Description and exposition? Enough conflict? Satisfaction of the ending? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the answers of my readers and of my readers especially to this question. Was the ending satisfying? So I just have texts for my survey to us. <laughs> Uh, only the first question is multiple choice and I try to do it that uh, when you click no that you go to the end and then and then they answer this question until which chapter did you read or what did you skip this part functioned well but the yes part didn't function <laughs> so if you click no you skip here but if you click yes you didn't go to the next question so I have to figure this one out. Yeah it's my first time that I'm using Google Forms so there are a lot of things I don't know about uh, them. So I'm looking forward to the feedback. I will send out the first part tomorrow and then the next parts every five days. The whole May will be me sending out parts. <laughs> I will give my beta readers until end of May and this might be a bit too short, yeah? but we'll see about this. So that are my plans for the next week. I will go back to editing and I will go back to writing. I have plans regarding my Patreon as well. I want to publish more chapters in the $5 tier. But it's really hard for me to do editing on so many different parts of the story at the same time. It's uh, the editing for the beta readers, then it's my usual editing before uploading, and then another editing for the Patreons. I mean, that's really hmm, a bit too much editing, <laughs> I believe, but we'll see. Have a nice week. Bye-bye.